In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. As the Church gears up to the Coptic New Year, over the last few weeks of the Church electionary, what the Church does is focuses on the end of the world. And we take a Gospel of Matthew and the Gospel of Mark, and we focus on the passages that talk about the end days. And many of us, as those last two weeks of the Coptic year approach, we get a little bit nervous and we don't like to hear those messages because none of us want to think about our ends. And none of us want to think about the end of the world. But actually, there is a virtue within the, the Desert Fathers which tells us to have a remembrance of death. When we have a remembrance of death, and when we know that death will surely come to us, it makes us more vigilant and makes us more alive in the present. If you know that your end will come, then you are every day is one step closer to your end. So you live more vigilantly knowing that you don't know when the end will come, but you know that your end will surely come. Maybe not when the end of the world comes, but maybe sooner. And when you look at Matthew chapter 24, there's a specific verse in there that says, And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold, but he who endures to the end will be saved. That's verses 12 and 13 from Matthew 24. How many of us think about our ends? How many of us think about what our end days will be like? How many of us live in the present, wanting that our hearts not grow cold? The church in the last two weeks of the calendar tells us, wake up, be aware. Your end may not be the end of the world. Your end may be much sooner. So what are we doing to prepare ourselves? What are we doing to make sure that our heart is not growing cold? What are we doing in order to make sure that we live each, each day as though it may potentially be our last? Tomorrow's not promised. Today is not promised. The next second isn't promised. But what am I doing in order to ensure that I'm living a life that is filled with love and enduring until the end? It says, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached to all the world as witnesses to the nations, and then the end will come. For me, I don't know when the end is coming. I want to focus on my end. Challenge for us is to focus on our end, to focus on what type of life that we are living, to focus on what we are doing to prepare ourselves to one day surely meet our master. Every single one of us want to hear the words, come blessed of my father and inherit the kingdom which was prepared for you from the foundation of the earth. Because you are faithful in the small, come inherit that which is large. Well, all of us want to be faithful. All of us want to give our lives more to the Lord. And these last two weeks, the church is asking us to evaluate ourselves and to see, do I live each day as though it's my last? Or do I live as if I have so much time? Tomorrow's not promised. So not to be afraid, but to be reminding myself regularly that I have to live a life that is reflecting he who I desire to be with for all eternity. Some people will say, if you didn't want to live with God here, what makes you think you want to spend all eternity with him? So I live in the present for eternity. I live in this moment knowing that my ends may not be for a long time. It may be today. So I want to live with you, Lord, today so that I can live with you forever. May you have a blessed week thinking about your end and being inspired and encouraged to be in deeper relationship with the Lord. Have a wonderful week and God bless you.